So I'm Aaron Erickson. Uh, I am a senior manager at NVIDIA. Uh, so I'm Carlos Zilela, and I'm a senior software engineer here at NVIDIA. You know, they all have great telemetry at the cloud providers to tell us things. Uh, is a GPU uh, in a cluster heating up too much? Or is the power stable in a data center? We get all, all of this data from our cloud providers, and it's all very, very useful for helping us maintain the fleet, understand when we need to you know, manage a replacement cycle, and any number of what could be hundreds or even thousands of other kinds of situations. We have this broad surface area. In order to be able to, uh, with a relatively small team, understand all of this data coming from all these different sources and be able to actually take action on it, be able to actually kind of maintain this fleet uh, the way we want to, we have to use AI, ironically, to manage the AI. In our situation where we have to kind of be scrappy, um, there's no other way to do it other than having, oh, we have this on-prem, we have this on cloud, we have this on this other cloud. And oh, by the way, we need to take this cluster that we have on this cloud and give it to a customer because we actually serve a lot of these ourselves. So sometimes we would only have uh, you know, a cluster available uh, for a period between when one customer is done with one and another one takes it up. And so because we have this need for, to be able to use you know, kind of spot capacity both for inference and for fine tuning, uh, it is really important that we have that flexibility. And I think True Foundry's platform uh, was really great in providing us that flexibility um, you know, as we've been developing this over time. So uh, right now we're uh, running at six different agents. Uh, we're, we're deploying all this on EKS on AWS right now on the True Foundry platform. So right now we've got the True Foundry platform deployed on a AWS uh, region that we're experimenting heavily with. Uh, and the plan is to branch out to multiple clouds and multiple regions as well. Once we've got the cluster set up and running, um, getting new deployments in, getting new versions out and controlling rollouts and version changes and knowing what's deployed where and how it's running has been pretty a, a pretty smooth process. It's been a pleasure to work with that part of True Foundry. So a lot of the a lot of the feedback or a lot of the challenges we're noticing as we build multi-agent systems is that getting a single agent to do a thing well is a different problem from getting multiple agents to collaborate well. And True Foundry has been super helpful as a tool to get a single agent evaluated against multiple different criteria. True Foundry and the ability to kind of switch and experiment with different models in multiple clouds. Um, as a platform really, really helped us be able to make better decisions. So what we're building for our system, it actually uses multiple models thrown together. Um, and in some cases, we want to use mixed role. We use it in one of our, what we call our classifier agent. Um, for some of our code generation agents, we use other models, uh, some of which we develop here at NVIDIA ourselves. Um, and being able to kind of swap those in and out and be able to use those on a bunch of different platforms, be able to do fast experimentation, uh, was one of the key reasons why we were able to stand up a Really great proof of concept in literally six weeks um, with your help. Thank you so much again uh, to be able to understand what works and what doesn't work as quickly as possible. Um, in this business, um, you know, having a big plan up front um, and trying to plan everything in advance is a fool's errand. And I think um, I think the really neat thing is Drew Foundry understands, you know, that moving fast uh, is probably one of the most important things you can do uh, as you're trying to stand up these platforms. You know, but I think True Foundry really stands out um, in any number of things. So, you know, one of the things that we were uh, really excited about was the ability to just get up and moving quickly uh, without a lot of setup, uh, to be able to use multiple models, to be able to uh, scale this different kinds of GPU. True Foundry was very, very helpful in us being able to kind of get this up and running very, very quickly in an experimental way. And they were great partners with us, uh, not just helping build out the solution, but get going, but actually working with us to. Um, you know, do things like multiple model experimentation and things like that. The fact that we can utilize more of our GPU fleet uh, when we have a better replacement cycle, we can better understand our observability. Um, if we can even get a 1% increase, a 1% increase in utilization of our GPU fleet, uh, that translates to bottom line revenue. And we want to kind of be able to serve every one of our brilliant researchers that we can. We want to be able to serve every customer that we can. And if we can serve even one marginal new customer, that is a net win uh, for everybody involved and for what the cost of doing this is, for what the, you know, it, it is one of the best ROIs I've ever seen in my entire history in tech over 30 years. Uh, so my, my, my experience with the True Foundry team has, has been really good. Um, we're, uh, we're, we're getting like 
within the hour responses to any questions um, that we have. We've, we've got like pretty hands-on uh, help in installing and deploying the, the, the initial clusters and setting up the platform. And uh, the True Founder team has been great in providing some feedback and providing some information about um, how, how to go about these things. I couldn't have been happier. So, so one of the things, I don't know everybody knows this about True Foundry, but the, the people that work in customer success are brilliant. You, you were you know, partners with us hand in hand, figuring out how to make the architecture of you know, this agent system work early on, uh, giving us some ideas about different ways we could leverage different technologies. Even if we challenge some of them, even if we, uh, in the co-development, it it, it's been a great partnership. And I, and I think you know, one of the things that you'll get when you, you know, talk to True Foundry are people that understand uh, not just how to serve models, but how to actually use models. That's an important distinction. I'm as a former founder myself. I was solving problems when I was a founder early on in my career. It's very clear that True Foundry is solving problems that they probably had themselves early in their careers developing models. And then a lot of that passion for doing good work comes out in how they support customers, you know, comes out in how they uh, build this platform. So I, I couldn't be happier to work with y'all.